mesotherapy with deuteroside injections, pros and cons, before and after results, and what you can expect from this treatment. Coming up. This video has been brought to you by GoFiber. Enter your pictures and win a one year supply of GoFiber. It's easy to enter. Order a free sample, take a clear before and after pictures, and send them to selfie at gofiber.com. Hey, welcome back everybody, Matt here. If you are watching my channel for the first time, it's a hair loss and hair transplant related channel where I talk about these topics all year round. So if you're somebody who is new and he's being fascinated about these topics, maybe he wants to learn something new about these topics, make sure you subscribe or at least consider it. All right guys, the technique of micro injections with dutasteride or mesotherapy uh, with dutasteride has been designed in order to not only promote the efficacy of dutasteride, right for treating uh, androgenic alopecia but also to kind of inhibit the systemic permeation of dutasteride into the plasma and reduce the sexual side effects that men used to get with oral dutasteride okay with this treatment they basically inject dutasteride directly into the scalp okay into the dermis where it can reach the root of the hair follicle it's usually rooted from 1.5 to 4 even 5 millimeters deep in your scalp that's the dermis area where this uh, dutasteride is being injected with mesotherapy the efficacy of dutasteride mesotherapy has been studied since 2008 already and despite demonstrating like fairly good to even excellent responses unfortunately there is no uniformity among the application therapy protocols and I was able to find like six studies out of which there were like three observational studies and three more like higher quality uh, placebo controlled studies that I'm going to be especially paying attention to in this video and I'm going to be showing you some results from these studies as well and as well as before and after pictures and based on the results that I seen and the studies that I went through over the last couple of days uh, I can tell you like who is this treatment for well it's gonna be somebody who is either diffuse thinner, it can be anybody who is thinning on the crown or even uh, somebody who's receding on the hairline. If you are one of these guys and your hair loss is androgen induced, then you're gonna likely respond to this mesotherapy with dutasteride. I don't know how well. Let's see further. Let me mention some of the pros and cons of this dutasteride mesotherapy because as everything, like any treatment on the market, as always, right, beat finasteride, minoxidil, any treatment besides like really weak uh, natural remedies, there are always going to be some side effects. Hell, even with supplement, or there, there can be some side effects and it's a natural herb. So this is of course going to give us also some negatives, but let's start with the positives first. The first one will be be that one mesotherapy session with dutasteride only takes like 30 minutes to complete something like a PRP session some of you guys will probably know it who who have undergone this and in order to like achieve like decent cosmetic results cosmetic improvements you may only need like three to four treatments per year which is not a lot and uh, dr uh, sergio vagno he has also conducted a small observational study i'm gonna touch on to later but this uh result is one of his patients who only underwent like two sessions and this is his six month result uh, after getting to uh, do test right mesotherapy sessions which is pretty decent result in my opinion here is another patient who is 21 years old and you can see his result after six months and he underwent possibly two dutasteride mesotherapy sessions but he also uses topical minoxidil five percent but you can see how his hairline uh, just improved in only six months I'm not sure you will be able to do this with minoxidil 5% only. Most likely not, okay? So the dutasteride uh, mesotherapy session definitely helped here. Here is another result, and this is really crazy because uh, this patient also used oral minoxidil, and you just can notice how this combo is like crazy, and it almost looks like a hair transplant. It's not, right? But you see the hair thickening effect. It's like amazing because if you look at the before 
photo, it seems as if the patient have already lost uh, more than 50% of the original hair thickness. And if you take a look at the after photo, you see it, the hair has clearly more than 50% of the thickness again. So I don't know how this, this happened, but it's just excellent response. And it just shows that somebody can really uh, be like, get lucky and respond well to this mesotherapy dutasteride. Uh, but again, this patient also used oral minoxidil, which by itself has been shown also to be pretty strong anti hair loss medication and was able to, you know, uh, give some really good results to some patients. Here is another diffusely thinning patient who has been put on minoxidil 5%. He has been using it daily, plus oral dutasteride 0.5 milligram, I suppose, plus the dutasteride mesotherapy injections. And the result is also really good. I mean, it looks almost like a hair transplant for, uh, to me. Here is another patient who is using 0.5 milligram dutasteride plus dutasteride mesotherapy. He has been using it for six months. So these were all like six month results from all uh, Sergio Vano. He's kind of like a pioneer in doing this in Spain, that at least from what I have seen online, he seems to be the pioneer. So that kind of sums up the advantage number one, right? Right away, not only you may just need maybe three, four sessions of dutasteride mesotherapy per year to achieve decent results, not only that, but if you add some conventional treatments like minoxidil 5% or even finasteride oral next to that, your results will appear faster and the end result will look also much better and thicker as without uh, uh, compared to without uh, mesotherapy. Advantage number one. Advantage number two, uh, I already touched on to that. It was basically that the delivery of these uh, mesotherapy injections goes right into the dermis, okay? Right there where the hair is ro rooted. It's not like you would have to apply a topical dutasteride hydroalcoholic solution and then wait for it to maybe get absorbed and go first through the epidermis and then the dermis. Some of that would uh, get wasted, you know? So that kind of avoids this wastage right away because you just kind of blast through the epidermis with the injection and that's why also a higher deposition of drug in the dermis uh, can be achieved right away okay because the whole injected vial goes right there into the dermis and the advantage number three would be that, uh, as you have seen, the results look promising. It has been already tested by uh, some doctors since 2008. If you combine it with conventional treatments, the results will appear faster and it will just look even better. So there is some evidence and some backup to this. It's up to you whether you want to try it or not. This is just for the educational purposes. Let's talk about the disadvantages. And there are two main disadvantages I was able to come up with here as well. Uh, the first one, in mesotherapy with dutasteride, there is no standardized delivery and frequency of these treatments established. So some doctors, they like to start with one treatment per month for the first four or five months and then ease it out on maybe once every three months and just continue like that. Some doctors, like Dr. Vanyo, likes to do like one treatment every two, three months right away and just do like four treatments per year. And that's something that needs to be just experimented with until uh, we find out what works better and what uh, doesn't work as much. And the second disadvantage, side effects. Now, what type of side effects? Because everybody for, uh, of you will probably think about the sexually related side effects, uh, like with the oral finasteride or oral dutasteride or any uh, alpha reductase inhibitor. In here, I mean, in this case, it hasn't been shown for now in these studies because the DHT decrease uh, as a result of uh, dutasteride mesotherapy has been shown to be very, like, pretty statistically insignificant. But there are some physicians who claim that long-term exposure to such therapy is also questionable, whether there is or is not going to be like a significant DHT um, decrease. But for now, it hasn't been uh, kind of shown. 
But there's also another side effect that I have in mind. And by reviewing about six studies on dutasteride mesotherapy, I found out that some patients have experienced pretty ugly side effects on their sperm concentration, especially the reduction in the sperm concentration after being on dutasteride mesotherapy. Although the declines were almost always in the normal or healthy range, there were two cases of two patients, one 27 and another. 40 years old, uh, and these patients showed a decrease in sperm concentration from 29 to 7 millions of sperms uh, per milliliter, which is like 70% decrease. So uh, unfortunately, this can occur. That's why it's a disadvantage. All right, guys, uh, I'm not going to go through all of the studies right now. I have like six or seven studies here, but I'm just going to go through the main studies where there were uh, like a lot of men included, like um, relatively high sample size of men. It was a placebo controlled uh, study, which can give us more quality of reporting. Let's call it this way. The first one from 2009 is considered to be a pilot study on uh, dutasteride mesotherapy therapy and uh, initially like 34 uh, patients enrolled but only 28 completed the study because it seems like six patients uh, didn't or were not able to tolerate the pain of the injections so they didn't complete the study but we have a um, treatment group of 14 patients and 14 uh, patients in a controlled group. Uh, the treatment group received 0.05% uh, dutasteride per one milliliter. So it's like 0.5 milligram dutasteride uh, oral equivalent. And the uh, control group uh, received uh, saline. If we take a look at the first patient who was in a treatment group, his terminal hair count actually changed from 29 to 37 so it went up 27 percent so on paper the increase in hair count is pretty significant but on the photo you cannot see it as well because the crown area is pretty large you cannot just notice it like this and the picture quality is also very poor but in fact his hair count did improve in 27 percent which is pretty significant but if I look at the photos I don't think of it as significant maybe like mild uh, response at most if we take a look at the patient uh, one of the patients in the control group who just received saline for 11 weeks uh, you can see that there is no change in fact I see some worsening after 11 weeks so these are only these two photos of two patients from the first study, which was a placebo controlled trial of 28 uh, patients. Let's take a look at the other study, which I consider to be like the most important because it includes like 90 men, which is the highest sample size from all of these studies uh, in uh, my research. It has been conducted in 2012. It includes again, 90 men. This study and four Fortunately, also only provided us with one before and after photo of one of these patients uh, who received nine injections after 20 weeks. You can see that his hair situation also improved. I would consider his response to be like also mild to moderate, but something more to mild in my opinion the hair got darker especially around the mid scalp uh, the frontal third but especially here on the sides the crown also got a little bit more narrow but not that much and uh, the vertex and crown uh, crown areas didn't fill out uh, as much either so he is um, indeed just a mild respondent because he also received nine injections so that's a lot for 20 weeks and the response is not as great, uh, to be honest. What this study basically concluded is that mesotherapy using dutasteride is a good option for treatment of male pattern hair loss resulting in reduction or cessation of hair loss and promoting uh, of new hair regrowth. The proposed mechanism of action of dutasteride is partly due to modification of hair cycle dynamics and partly through increasing hair shaft diameter of the existing hairs. Effects on sexual function by dutasteride mesotherapy is 
is questionable. Mesotherapy using dutasteride is not recommended in patients seeking pregnancy, patients with borderline or abnormal semenogram, and patients with ejaculatory or erectile dysfunction. Okay. Uh, we have uh, some more studies from 2013, which were on the women. The biggest one was done on women, 126 uh, women. It was also a placebo controlled trial. And another one from 2013, men and women, 28 in a treatment group and 28 in a control group. And besides these two studies from 2013, we just have two more observational studies from 2017 and 2019. Each study only includes five men. Uh, okay, so it's a very small study. One of them is actually from Dr. Sergio uh, Vaño, uh, and also the patient that I have already shown you uh, earlier. All right, guys, let me kind of conclude it for you here. Well, the mesotherapy uh, treatment with dutasteride injections has been shown uh, pretty effective in treating androgenic alopecia. Of course, this protocol is not FDA approved uh, because there is no standardization and also dutasteride on itself, it's not FDA approved treatment uh, for treating hair loss in its oral form. So that's why it's just going to be probably more complicated for the mesotherapy therapy itself. It is effective. It can be even more effective uh, if we add some conventional treatments like finasteride oral or topical minoxidil. I also think that the main target audience for using this dutasteride mesotherapy treatment would be men because us men, uh, our androgen related hair loss is just much more severe. Of course, women also experience androgen related hair loss, but not to such an extent and their androgen levels are much lower than the androgen levels of men and also the density and kind of the activity of 5-alpha reductase on their scalp is not as ex kind of enhanced as in male scalp this, that has been also shown. So we need like really strong, really potent treatments like dutasteride mesotherapy to counteract this uh, densely populated 5-alpha reductase on the scalp. All right, guys, so these were kind of my thoughts on the dutasteride uh, injectable mesotherapy. Uh, so if you liked this video, make sure you give it a like and I hope you learned something from it really as far as the pros and cons of this treatment, uh, what are the expected before and after results. Of course, not everybody's going to be uh, the same respondent as by any treatment. So we have seen some extreme results and some really mild results. Uh, so that's important and also some disadvantages which are kind of connected with this treatment as it is not FDA approved treatment. Okay, so uh, uh, that was it for this video, guys. Uh, you know, this is also a hair transplant channel. So for all you guys who are interested in a hair transplant and considering it seriously in 2020, you know that I, Matt, uh, specialize in the, this topic and I help you out during your hair transplant research. I set you up the right way. Uh, some of you guys already made use of them. So uh, that was amazing. And many of you are still watching this, these videos. So I'm happy for that. And yeah, that was it from me for this video, guys. Uh, it was a pleasure. Take care. If you want to avoid getting an unsuccessful hair transplant, find out about what are the real and subtle details you really need to pay attention to before you get a hair transplant. If you want me to assist you during your hair transplant research and provide you with the best possible hair transplant clinic recommendations right away, then make sure you apply for a one-on-one -on -one call with me by clicking the apply now button right here. And after you click it and fill out a short application form on my website, I will get back to you within 24 hours and schedule a call with you whenever it's suitable for both of us and help you out. And I'm going to pack everything you need to know before your hair transplant into one single call because I don't want to waste your time. I just want to make sure that you get the best hair transplant result possible. Talk to you soon.